Last night, we saw that Democratic debate with Bernie and Biden. And Bernie mentioned that Tuesday's or he hints Tuesday's primaries should be postponed over coronavirus. Well, you're getting your wish because several states are now postponing their Democratic primary elections. So Biden and Bernie, save your energy. You're not going to need to be campaigning, at least for now, because we've got a global pandemic happening and the election is being postponed. Now, something I mentioned the other day that I want to dive into today is as we are witnessing the primaries get postponed, let's entertain the silliness of the BuzzFeed article. What happens if Trump tries to cancel the election because of the coronavirus? BuzzFeed, please calm down. That was three days ago. OK, we're now seeing the primaries postponed. Let's just get through today and then worry about tomorrow later. But we'll, we'll, we'll dive into this and see what silliness they have wrought. Sanders and Fox News, they say, in a post-debate interview on CNN, Sanders pointed to new guidelines released by the CDC limiting gatherings to no more than 50 people over the next eight weeks as the country grapples with the highly contagious COVID-19. I would hope that governors listen to the public health experts, and what they are saying is we don't want gatherings of more than 50 people. I'm thinking about some of the elderly people sitting behind the desks, registering people, and doing all that stuff. Does that make sense? I'm not sure it does. The next round of contest is scheduled Tuesday in Arizona, Illinois, Florida, and Ohio. While some states are either considering postponing primaries or have already decided to do so, officials responsible for this week's contests have shown little inclination to delay, instead stressing safety precautions in place. We are working closely with our state health officials to ensure that our poll workers and voters can be confident that voting is safe, secretaries of state for those elections said in a recent statement. Based on the latest polling data, Sanders could be in for a tough night of primaries should the vote go forward as planned. Now, here's the thing. They mention Ohio. Ohio has just announced they will be postponing. But I do have a list of other states, also from Fox News, that have already done so. We'll do the Ohio first because that's the relevant news about what's happening Tuesday, but come back to this. So this is from The Intercept. Ohio governor moves to postpone primary and calls for widespread shutdown. On Monday afternoon, Ohio's Republican governor, Mike DeWine, is recommending the state should not go forward with in-person voting on Tuesday. The move follows days of pressure for four states scheduled to vote on Tuesday, Arizona, Florida, Illinois, and Ohio, to postpone their primaries. In an open letter, more than 1,600 people, including 100 medical professionals, called for the next round of presidential primaries to be postponed amid the coronavirus pandemic. All of the four states scheduled to vote on Tuesday have declared a state of emergency in response to the outbreak. The decision to hold both the Democratic and Republican primary elections, which have closed down schools, restaurants, and bars to try and slow the spread of coronavirus, could exponentially grow the amount of cases and death toll. In Arizona, the state Republican Party decided months ago not to hold a presidential primary. This would particularly advantage Bernie Sanders, as older voters would likely not want to go to the polling stations as they are at risk. Even progressives have pointed out on Twitter that would not be fair and it should likely not take place. And I have tremendous respect for that statement. This is Bernie's opportunity to win, but to be fair, they can't do it. The letter which addressed to the Democratic National Committee and the secretaries of state for, for the four states calls for those states to push their primaries to May. Until then, it reads, mail-in voting should be implemented throughout, throughout under the guidance of health and election authorities. Postponing the election would also give states enough time to explore alternatives to in-person voting at a sufficient scale. The letter notes, particularly if the emergency continues to worsen. In addition to our primary concern about public health, we believe this would be beneficial to the democratic process. As people are understandably avoiding public spaces and crowds, we expect turnout to be depressed. Rescheduling the primaries would ensure that more people are allowed to exercise their right to vote without fear. I agree with that. They should not. They should postpone. But for a month, we'll see what happens. There's, there's been some other delays in other areas. Movies are being pushed back. Conferences are being pushed back. So we'll take it all seriously. There has been some conversation emerging about pushing back the tax filing deadline to June from April, which would be, I don't know, that'd be, that'd be pretty crazy, but you know maybe we'll see it. Now, here's a list of states that have already postponed their primaries. And then we'll read about Donald Trump shutting down the election because it's funny. Fox News gives us a list. They say Louisiana became the first state to, post to postpone a primary or caucus on Friday with Governor John Bell Edwards signing an executive order to move the April 4th election to late June, saying today I have certified that a state of emergency exists and requested that the governor issue an executive order postponing elections this spring. We have requested postponing the April 4th primary election until June 20th 
and postponing the May 9th general election until July 25th. We also have Georgia. Uh, It's moved its elections from March 24th to May 19th on Saturday after Governor Brian Kemp declared a state of emergency. Puerto Rico, though it's not a state, they hold their uh, primaries for both parties. The Puerto Rico Republican primary already took place on March 8th, but the Puerto Rico Democratic primary last week requested that the state delay its Democratic primary, which was scheduled for March 29th. This is an unpredictable day by day situation that requires constant monitoring of the progress of the disease. Our intention is to keep all options open to ensure the citizens' rights to vote, party chairman Charles Rodriguez said in a statement. The Spanish language news site El Nuevo Dia reported that the state, that, uh, the state Senate on Tuesday will consider the legislation required to put off the election to April 26, which is the date requested by the territory's Democratic Party. Which brings me to the final bit of fun from a couple days ago. You know, I just slammed BuzzFeed for putting out this drivel a couple, uh, the other day, but we're going to dive into it today because it is relevant to the expanding, I, don't, I guess, postponement of the elections. What happens if Trump tries to cancel the election because of the, cor- the coronavirus? He might well try, even though the answer is no, he cannot. Calm down. Seriously, BuzzFeed. Thousands of Americans think President Donald Trump may try to cancel the 2020 election by citing the coronavirus pandemic. On the left and right, they envision him declaring a national emergency using those newly invoked powers to suspend the November vote and extend his first term in the White House. It's not purely paranoia. The pandemic has already canceled campaign rallies, postponed the primary election in Louisiana, now many other states as we know, and raised ideas to nix the party's nominating conventions. Trump, for his part, has often lied about his last election to justify his political power. And most specifically, he retweeted a suggestion last year from Jerry Falwell Jr. that his first term should be extended by two years. Are they joking about this? Where is this? What is this? Okay, so they show us some tweets. Um, Morgan J. Freeman, I guess it's not the, the Morgan Freeman actor. He says, Trump is going to use this pandemic for personal gain by trying to cancel the November election in order to stay in power. 25th Amendment now. Let me just say, y'all are nuts. Greg Pinello says, if you don't think Trump is already thinking about whether he can cancel the election because of coronavirus, you haven't been paying attention to his jokes about getting rid of term limits and being president for life. Y'all are overreacting. Then we have let logic loose. There will be loud demands by the Dems that Trump cancel all upcoming campaign rallies. Perhaps the election should be postponed until next year so we can have a normal election rather than have one which is severely impacted by this manufactured panic. Now I want to point out the tweets on the right are from random Twitter users. No disrespect, random Twitter users. The tweets on the, on the left are from certified blue checkies. You see the difference? People with followings versus random accounts does not a story make. But BuzzFeed is trying to play it up like, but the right is talking about it too. Look, if you can't find any high profile Trump supporting personalities calling for this, perhaps your story is bunk. They write, major disturbances during elections, it turns out, are an age old American problem. And so, dear reader, we are here to answer the question, can the president cancel the election or can a viral outbreak or some other bona fide crisis lead to postponing voting day? The short answer is no. A president cannot defer an election unilaterally. And even with such, even with support in much of Congress and in the states, it would be extremely difficult, perhaps logistically impossible to postpone the presidential general election. But that doesn't mean disasters can't wreak havoc on democracy as usual. Congress could try setting new election timelines. Local election boards could be unable to operate polling sites. And the president could sow doubt in the election's legitimacy or push executive emergency powers to the legal brink to disrupt the vote. It is important that we discuss all of these scenarios right now. No, it's not important. You guys are fear mongering, paranoid lunatics. Let's stay in the now. Focus on keeping people safe. The reason why we're postponing the elections in some of these states is because older people are at risk and they're going to be going and voting out. uh, They're going to be going out and voting, too. And it is unfair to them and to Biden and anybody else that we would deny someone that would that would be voter suppression by their own standard. We are not freaking. We're we're not. okay. we're doing these things because it makes sense right now. If you want to talk about postponing the election, how about we wait until, I don't know, at least September. Experts are saying we can be over this by June. BuzzFeed, of course, wants to make sure they scare you and terrify you with their insane rhetoric, like the tweets they showed from those blue checkies saying, you must not be paying attention. Trump is absolutely blah, 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 blah. No, he's not. Y'all are freaking out. and They're doing it. It's rage bait. 
or maybe not even rage bait. It's not even clickbait. It's something else. It's fear bait. Donald Trump is the boogeyman coming to your house to take away everything. They've been screaming that Trump's trying to make himself God emperor for life. And then when Carpe Donctum made that meme where it says Trump 2024, 28, 20, you know, 2032 and keeps going up, they started screeching that he was he meant it. He, did you see this tweet? Trump is joking about being president for life. Yeah, because it triggers you and he's poking fun and his supporters love it. I'll also point out there are other Trumps. So even if it is Trump 2030, Trump 2024, well, then it could be Trump Jr. There's no reason for us to speculate and play these games. Well, for BuzzFeed, there, there is. I guess they make money when they do it. There's no talk right now, for the most part, about postponing the general election in November, when experts are saying this could be over in June. But if we get there, fine, we'll talk about it. But I'll tell you what, if the pandemic really does get bad, it's not going to be unilateral. Trump will not be the only one asking for this. If it does get worse from where it is now into September, don't be surprised when Democrats are the ones actually caring about it, because according to the polls, the Democrats are the ones that are more concerned about it. Postponing the, the, the elections being postponed right now, the primaries are the Democratic primaries, not the general. It's not Trump. It's the Democrats doing it. Y'all need to stop. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for hanging out.